Hello, I'm Timo Bleschke. I'm product manager for Belimo's Butterfly Valves. Today, I would like to talk with you about the proper wiring and installation of Belimo's PR actuator while maintaining the IP66, IP67 rating. First, I would like to point out that this rubber tube here is not allowed to be removed. Underneath is a breathing membrane which should not permanently get in contact with water. Therefore, an installation like this is not allowed uh, where, for example, rainwater can fill up this rubber tube. Next, I would like to go over these two black caps that are on top of the PR actuator. I take this hand crank and unscrew this black cap. This hole is for the manual operation and when I place this hand crank in here, it overrides the control signal and then I can manually operate the valve underneath. For example, during commissioning. For the normal operation, it is very important that you put that cap back on. Underneath this cap is a little o-ring and that o-ring is key to how the IP66, IP67 rating of the actuator is maintained. So with the hand crank you are closing this cap and you need to make sure that the o-ring is making contact with the top of the actuator. Now I want to talk about the wiring of the PR actuator. You see here a black rubber lanyard inside the wiring compartment that is holding the cover to the PR actuator. This is useful if you are working for example up on a ladder, you won't lose the cover if it falls down. Important is, after you finish the wiring, you need to make sure that this rubber lanyard is not pinched when closing the cover. The next thing I would like to show you is the rubber gasket that runs under the cover on this lip. When closing the cover, please make sure that this gasket is not pinched. Another important area in this wiring compartment is this wiring channel. It is designed in case you run power and control in the same cable. If so, either control or power wires need to go through this wiring channel. The reason why that's important is, this wall here and this wall here, they're also in the cover and when I put this cover on, they will align and if I run a wire over the top, it will be pinched. Worst case, I will short the wire out. So it is very important to use this wiring channel. I want to take a short look to the delivered accessory kit. Please make sure that you are only using these delivered cable clamps. Let's have a closer look to the cable clamps itself. We unscrew this connector and see that there is an insert inside the cable clamp which is meant to run one cable. Depending on the cable you want to use, inserts from 4 to 10 mm diameter are delivered with the accessory kit. You should not use a screwdriver or drill to make the holes for the cable clamps. Please use the brass knockout plug, which is also part of the accessory kit. I'm going to thread this plug into the actuator's body. And then I take a 22 mm wrench and I'm going to turn this in until the plastic is completely pushed out of the actuator's body. I can now turn this plug out and the result is a nice clean hole for the cable plant. If you have questions about this video, please contact your local Belimo support. Thank you very much.